Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins, friend. I am so happy that you're here. Pull up a chair at this virtual tavern of mine. And let's get into it. We rescued Bodan, Fedek, and Sandal last time. Oops. I'm used to playing uh, Inquisition <laughs> lately, so I just clicked V. And apparently V gets rid of all the things on the side. I had no idea. Um, but yeah. I'm so glad you're here. Let's get into it. And I think I remember this area next being an epilepsy trigger, possibly. So please um, check in the description box for how to skip through it. But I think there's some flashing in the next cutscene. So just warning, um, this game is mature. And I also might talk about spoilers from future Dragon Age games. So you've been warned about that. And I'm trying not to swear. So... Ding me in the comments if I swear. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Oh my gosh, that's intense. What is going on? Bad dreams, huh? <laughs> yeah. It seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Hmm. The Archdemon. Is that the dragon? Oh, we really don't know much about anything, do we? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Oh, thanks, Allie. Thank you, Alistair. I appreciate it. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, <laughs> you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. What? It's still dark, my guy. Oh my gosh, we made it to camp for the first time! So awesome. I love the the fact that you have all of your your peeps. You, like, collect them and they all show up in your camp here. It makes me really happy. I love how Morgan has her own separate camp away from all of these hooligans over here. <laughs> oh, ah, hello. It's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Um, yeah. Uh, let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Yes. Ooh, okay. Mm, I should probably, uh, equip... Ooh, gifts. Yes. Okay, I'll need to give gifts to people to make them like me. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, our inventory is looking pretty good. Let's just get some more poultices because I can never have enough poultices. And I can make my own lesser of poultices pretty easily at this point. <laughs> Ooh. When I oh, I guess I did. I didn't think that I installed the. There's this gift pack. I think it's called Feast Day Gifts and Pranks. And there's a certain gift and like a prank gift for each companion. And it's pretty funny if you haven't tried it out. But I wouldn't recommend doing it for like a ooh backpack. Yes. Um, it gives like plus fifty, I think, for each companion if you give them the gift. And so like. 
you kind of skip the whole like getting to know you phase but if you're wanting to just kind of blaze through your game and like have all your companions like you or hate you then it's a useful pack and it's also kind of funny um, so it's kind of fun to like save a game give like the prank gift to somebody and then they're like oh what is this <laughs> hello the boy's a bit simple but he's rather good with enchantments one of those tranquil fellas actually called him a what was it now a savant i had no idea such a thing existed Hmm. What enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And oh, there sandal. you have it. So cute. If any of you guys have sandal theories, let me know in the comments below. I know that he's this kind of mysterious character that keeps showing up and having these interesting abilities. So I'd be curious to hear if you have any any running theories. All right. Um, cool. Farewell. We won't do any. Oh, well, actually, let's see if we can do some enchanting. Enchantment. Okay. Oathkeeper. Long sword. Okay, so we can give that to Alistair. Sure, why not? Let's just enchant it for fun. Oh, quest completed. Enchantment. Sweet. Okay. Now let's make sure that we have equipped good stuff on our party members here. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, let's give him that one. Okay, he's got a better shield at the moment. I think we're good. Maybe we can give Liliana some actual armor. There you go. That looks better. Okay. Excellent. Okay, we don't have much stuff yet, do we? <laughs> I apologize if you hear any background noise. There are other people in the house, and sometimes the door kind of rattles back and forth, so I apologize if that happens. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? He comes across as so sketchy. Um, I'm Xander. I've never heard of you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Yeah, for sure. What promise did Duncan make to you? My family, well, pass a bit checkered to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Hmm, that's a bit drastic, isn't it? And then some. Not much is known about that time. After King Arlen died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one, and our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Oh, well, that's touching. So what favor did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. I've never even heard of Soldier's Peak. We're newbies, sorry, Mr. Dryden. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. Okay. <laughs> At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did. 
and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. How will reclaiming the peak help the wardens? Soldier's Peak is strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. He also hoped to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. Hmm, sounds interesting. Okay, your family's faith will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Fun. Yeah, so if you aren't familiar with this quest line, it's a DLC called Soldier's Peak, and it's very fun. So we're going to do that at some point. All right, let's give it a save. Camp. And I guess we're supposed to head next to Redcliffe. At least that's kind of what I'm feeling. So let's go to Redcliffe and see what's up there. Don't worry, we'll talk to our companions at some point yes. in the camp. Indeed. Yes. All right, let's do it. <gasps> so many places to go. All right, well, let's go to Redcliffe Village. The old hinterlands. Still haven't finished that area in my Dragon Age Inquisition playthrough. <laughs> Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, we can be so mean. Uh, I'm not going to like this, am I? I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? Uh... I think you said he raised you? I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl oh. at Redcliffe Castle. Oh my gosh. And she died when I was born. Arl Eamon took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because... Well... Because my father was King Marek. Which made Kaelin my half brother, I suppose. Oh my gosh, the tea has been so filled. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't this make you heir to the throne? Maker's breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. I, I would have told you, but. It never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Okay, I guess I understand. I think I understand. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery oh, at sold. age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. She sounds despicable. Yeah, I'm not an Isold fan, y'all. Did she know the truth about you? Or actually, let's say... Yeah, did she know the truth about you? She may have, but I think it's more likely that she feared the rumors might be true. Hmm. I can't blame her for that. I like a Catelyn Jon Snow situation. Put Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall, and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. Hmm. 
Why keep it a secret now? Oh, I guess he kind of told us that already. That'd be a stupid question. You were young. And raised by dogs. Or I may as well have been the way I acted. <laughs> but maybe all young bastards act like that. I don't know. All I know is that the Arl is a good man and well-loved by the people. He also was King Kaelin's uncle, so he has a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. <laughs> That's not really what you think, is it? No, I, I suppose not. I don't feel very lucky at all, to be honest. Oh, Allie. If you need a shoulder to cry on. We're here. <laughs> all right, we made it to Redcliffe. Woo! So, let's see. What are you guys drinking today? Sorry, what are you all drinking today? It's like 100 degrees outside. It's a true summer day. So I'm drinking a Corona. Fitting. <laughs> I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Um... What do you mean? Is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? Uh-oh. I've heard Arleman is sick, if that's what you mean. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. <laughs> We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I... I I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother, he's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Okay. Redcliffe, hello. Looking very drab, isn't it? Oh dear. Ben Tegan! I love Ben Tegan. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. You don't believe Loghain's lies? What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Sounds bad. I can help you drive them back. We're so eager. There are no darkspawn here, and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. There's a chance to rescue the Arl. We have to try. Perhaps. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. 
Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Tell me more about yourself. This is hardly the time to be discussing personal details, okay. don't you think? We will have to fight for our lives very shortly. And thus, I'd like to know something about you. I suppose that's not too much to ask. I did not mean to be brusque. Hmm. What will you do if Arleman is dead? I don't know. If Connor lives, he'll be the Arl and I'll need to help him with it. If he's... well, I don't want to think about that. Why have you stayed? Why didn't you just leave? After the first attack, I wanted to go for help, but I couldn't just leave these people. The Bannon gear up to battle Loghain while Darkspawn loom to the south. Loghain won't send anyone, so Redcliffe is on its own. Hmm. Are you a skilled warrior? Skilled enough to know there are many far better than myself. <laughs> okay, perhaps we should get back to the matter at hand. Good, then my secrets are still safe. I was worried for a moment there. Um, I'll see what I can do. Let's move on. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Morrigan disapproves. Oh dear. Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Are you alright? Why are you crying? Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but... I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Ooh. I'll look for him, don't worry. You will. Thank oh, you just so too good. much. Please find him. I'm so scared, father. What are we going to do? Silence, girl. You... Okay. I wonder what happens if you don't choose to protect Redcliffe. No, I've never done that. Men no sign of them coming back from the castle, numbers just Murdoch. keep growing each night. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the... So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. Nah, bitch, we're here. I'm not here to chat. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. <laughs> okay, is there anything else you need? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Carry on, then. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Oh, you will. Don't you worry. We're gonna fix this mess. That's what Xander does. Okay, the blacksmith. Let's talk to him. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Is this Owen, the blacksmith? I need to speak with you. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. I'd prefer not to speak through a door. May I come in? Mm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All right. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. Trouble? No. No, we don't cause trouble. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Xander, a Grey Warden helping Bantigan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Funny you didn't sound like an elf through the door. Can't say I expected that. Anyhow, my name's Owen. Though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? We should just be able to, like, check out and just drink with Owen all day. <laughs> the militia desperately needs your help. 
Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Valena. It's one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. Hmm. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Pretty selfish. Fine, fine. I will rescue your daughter. Just help the militia, okay? It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Oh, thank goodness. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want a promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise you I'll find her. Wink. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Is okay. this a promise we will not keep? Let's hope not. What's this? I said nothing to you, human. Right then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. All right. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Ooh, Morgan and Sen are not a fan of our chaotic good style here. <laughs> you know, I... It's interesting. Like, I kind of agree with them to a certain degree. Like, we're... We're helping a lot of individual people, but we're also maybe maybe stopping here would lead to worse things for Ferelden overall. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Because we do need to speak to the Arl in order to get help against the Blight. And in order to get to the Arl and save him, we kind of need to help the villagers here, so I don't know. Well, ooh, let's pick the lock. So sneaky. We fail. Knock on the door. Hello? Okay, break open the lock. <laughs> In we go. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. I apologize. I, I don't mean any harm. Apology accepted. The name's Dwight. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Now get out. What are you doing shut up in here? Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. You'll die in here just as easily as you would out there. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Can't I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. I'll put in a good word for you with Bantigan or the Arl. Hmm. You might just be able to pull that off. Fine. I'll throw in with the militia. For now. You better be out there, too, when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? Sweet. Any loot? Any loot? Nah. Yeah, persuasion, or coercion, I think, is what it's called. Is super helpful in this game for just, like, getting stuff done. General store. Oh yes, the lamp oil. Yeah, we can use that to like, um, to burn the, the corpses as they, the walking dead, <laughs> as they come out. Uh, let's see. 
Where else do I need? Oh, Bevan. Bevan. Need to find Bevan. Is this it? Yes. Caitlin is that girl we talked to whose brother is missing. And he's somewhere in here. Oh. Aha. Hello? Is someone in there? Go away. This isn't your home. A small human. I say burn it out. <laughs> ah, what are you doing? All right, I'll come out. Please, don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. Your sister is looking for you, you know. You've been bad. I just didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, and I want to be brave. Uh -huh. How is hiding in a dresser being brave? I wasn't always in here. I hid when I heard you coming. I was... Well, I shouldn't tell you. It's a secret. Are you sure? Maybe I could help you. You could. All right, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was grandfather's. And grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took mother. You had the right idea. You are indeed very brave. Thank you, sir. But the sword is too heavy for me. I... Guess I'm not as strong as someone like you. You'll grow up eventually. Don't worry about it. That doesn't help us now. Caitlin says everyone's going to die tonight. Not if I'm here to help, they won't. Really? You must be very brave. I wish I was like you. You should go back to your sister. Oh, where is the sword? In the chest. Haha. -ha. In mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. But I could use that sword to help the village. I... I guess you're right. I should help defend the village, shouldn't I? father would have if he were here. Oh, all right. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I should go back to the Chantry. Good luck. Wow, lots of effort that we put in there for one piece of loot. This had better be good. I think he said it's up here. All right. Ooh, the chest. Of course. The green blade. All right. All right, I think we'll wrap up this episode here. We did a good job. We're moving along here with Zan Zan. So next Stop time we'll me. defend the village from the like walking dead and me the I think that'll probably be all we fit into next episode and then we'll see what else Red Clip has to offer. Alright everybody, thank you so much for joining me at the Drunken Druid. Cheers to you friend. I hope you're doing well and I'm excited to keep going on this game with you. Alright, take care.